Today's episode is dedicated to channel member Muffin Gamer. And they say, Hi Sediac, I'm an official fool. Well guys, if you're an official fool, let me see those folio badges next to your name in the comment section down below. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Shipping Lanes here in Roblox where guys I'm not long just been finishing dropping off tons of oil because last episode I bought this huge little oil tanker right now and it turns out as long as you've got the money you can keep doubling your money every time until you reach capacity and I've been doubling my money so much boys I've got 2.5 million now in the bank which I want to continue this momentum with shipping oil and buy a bigger boat now with 2.5 million i could buy a huge freaking boat right now just saying just saying so we're gonna try and get a bigger one it's gonna make us even more cash money moolah boys as we are now on the grind to hopefully get in the triple e class now it's gonna be a long way away but if you guys want to see that eventually, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you aren't already here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But I think there's been an update. I think the interface has slightly changed since we last played it. Uh, we've got oil prices now over here. They were on the other side, weren't they? Yeah. Weird. Uh, show me extra controls. GG. But by the looks of it right now, the cheapest oil prices are in Long Island. We're in Norfolk Porks. So I've just dropped some off. So I'm actually going to back straight out, and we're going to go instantly to purchase a new ship. No. No, 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 no. We're going to buy a new oil ship today, an oil uh, tanker ship. But guys, what are you thinking we should go for after this? Now, we haven't touched the bulk carriers, right? Which are, uh, well, the money i got right now, you probably won't start until you get like a, like a, a, a cape size one or a very large ore carrier. And I haven't touched the gas carrier ships because they're expensive but we're focusing on the oil tankers right now so let me know what i should kind of focus on next after this maybe go back to the container ships and try and grind our way up right now i don't know i don't know but oil tankers i've got 2.5 million now if i get the suez max right now it'll leave me with half a million left over which is vital now the reason that is i need money to be able to buy oil to fill it up so i'm not too sure that's got a capacity of eight thousand so i'm not too sure if i spent or filled it up with eight thousand whether that would like is five is half a million enough i don't know but that is the one i'm gonna buy so it is four times more capacity than the general purpose of what we have right now Whew. i mean it used a lot more fuel it has a higher top speed no, it has a lower top speed, sorry. But that... It's going to be crazy. It is legit going to be crazy. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. We call it the SS Fall, and we've just spent two million on doing that. I don't know whether that was a good idea or not, guys. I literally do not know if that was a good idea or not. But whew, I can't believe I just spent two million. I literally cannot believe I just spent two million. So this is what we had last time. I could, I could actually sell it, which I'm going to sell it. Because it just kind of gives it a little bit extra cash that I could uh, use. Um, I did sell the right one, didn't I? Yeah. It gives me a little bit extra cash that your boy could use to buy more oil, if needs be. But we know, bringing out the Suez Max right now, Long Island had the cheaper of the oil prices. So hopefully they're still pretty cheap. We'll make our way over there. This is technically a slower ship right now. This is a slower ship right now. And are they still low prices? Uh, yes, they are. 49 dollars. Not as low as last episode when we were in like the 30s, the high end of the 30s right now. But this will do. We'll take it. And I'll tell you what, right, boys. This is definitely a bigger ship right now, isn't it? This is 100% a bigger ship. The actual price is going to be $50. But if we take it to Norfolk Port, then we are... I mean, if it can go drop down a little bit more, we could we could definitely borderline double our money. But the dude over there, I don't know if you can kind of see right now, who's going over there to fill up with the oil. That is the same ship I had last time. So you can see how small that now looks to how big this looks. 
This is freaking huge. This is a huge ship right now. So we're going to try and come in hot and heavy. We're going to see how much we can fill it up by. And that's going to be the interesting point, isn't it? Right, I'm going to slow this bad boy down because this dude is coming in right now. He's reversing out. I'm going to try and turn in around. I'm slowing down. Is he okay, this dude? Does he know what he's doing? I'm not sure if he knows. What he is he going forward? Right, we're going to have to go around him. He's very, I think he might be waiting for me to move, but he's very awkwardly parked. So, right, slow it right down. Start the spin jitsu right now. This Now, because of this is so big, one, I've already noticed it takes a lot longer to slow down. And also, it's going to be a lot more difficult to maneuver. A, a lot more difficult to maneuver right now. Which is, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. It is definitely going to be a lot of fun. But I can see us causing a few little issues here and there. Right. Drop the throttle right down. As we're coming in. And I can always thrust her over to the left if needs be. Easy, boy. Easy. Trying to get it sideways as, as much as possible. Look how long it's taking me to dock the ship right now. That just shows you how difficult this is now going to be. Right. Try and thrust over as much as possible. Easy, boy. Easy, easy, easy. Then we get to dock the ship, yeah? No. Okay. I'm not close enough. I've got to go a little bit more forward. Oh, yeah. I'm barely even towards it. Damn it, Sonny Acrofolio. Damn it, Acrofolio. Right. Slow it right down. Come on. Slow it right down, boys. There we go. Can I duck now? Yeah? Ha ha! Finally. <laughs> right. Manage cargo then. So, all your prices right now. Long Island, $51 a barrel. Right. Now, if I typed in here that I want 8,000, 8,000 is going to cost me, wow, 400,000. Okay, that's a, that means if I can double my money, I walk away with another 400,000. Oh my goodness me, guys. I'm probably going to be like, a, I'm going to make so many millions so much quicker than before. You don't understand how long it took me to make the 2.5 million. You do not want to know. And the fact that I can make some big, big cash with this is glorious. Now, do I mess around with trying to try to get it down to $49 and just kind of wait until that new uh, Long Island oil price drops? I mean, it's only a couple of pennies difference, but then pennies do add up over 8,000 barrels. Hmm. I don't know. It's gone up to... It's 51.42 right now. Let me see what it moves to next. No, actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy it. Right, I bought it. We're loading. I ain't going to mess about. I ain't going to mess about right now. And we need to go to the place that has the highest oil prices. Wow. See how low the ship just sunk? That's got a lot of oil on right now, boys. We need to go to, to Norfolk Port. I could go to Rockfall Port as well. But it is a little bit of a long way out. This dude going to crash into me. Hey, dude, you're going to about to crash into me right now. Oof. Um, okay, we haven't really took much damage, which is good. So I don't think that really counts, does it? No. Mm. Right. Where's Rockford? Oh, it put uh, there. So we could go to there, which is on the way. But the price is in new in in um in Norfolk Port are high, really high. So we're trying to skedaddle, reverse around, and that dude's got a ship there called the Hong Kong Line. Sweet mate. And then we're going to go full throttle ahead. And we're going to make our way over. So how are we going to do it is we're going to go up and around here. And there. It's too time consuming to go through the canal system. We learned that from last episode. So we won't do it. And now we're tooting along. We've got a long way to go. Is there a dude inside here right now? He's like, hey bro. Hey, you come to help me out, boy. Have you come to help me out right now? Be my little co-captain. Are they called co-captains? I don't know. But I'm, I'm tooting full steam ahead. It's going to be a long journey. But providing the price stays pretty high, we are in for making for almost $400,000. Do that 10 times, 4 million. I've not only paid for the ship, but I've got extra money in my pockets right now. Oh my goodness me, this is going to be Halfway beautiful. Halfway there right now. 
And I noticed I've been watching the oil prices twice, right? Norfolk Port went over $100. Amazing. I'm hoping, look, it's at 99.5. If it, I'm hoping it goes up to $100 when I get there. Because every little penny goes up. is a little bit extra cash in the bank for us right now. So we've got 228000 right now. So hopefully we can get some big, big dollars. Got a bunch of big ships behind us right now. I think this dude wants to come and squad up for us and kind of go in the same direction. But what we got to do is get over to that little island just ahead. So we still got a long way to go. Still got a long way to go right now. But we slowly, slowly, and I mean slowly, get in there. I can't wait until we can get like something like a triple E or something like that. That's going to be beautiful. That's going to be pretty crazy right now. But damn, it's going to be jazzy when we get that money. Right, this dude, yeah, I think this dude wants to squad with us right now. wants to sail with us. We're going to do it together, boy. We're going to do it together right now. Can we install, like, boosters on the ship so we can get, like, a million miles an hour? <laughs> that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? That kind of would be. So, looking at the map anyway, we've got to go all the way up to here. And if we zoom right in, the little oil pipe sticking out is just there. It's hard to see. So, we've got to come up, come in, and get to that point. That is where we are pretty much headed. So we'll get there slowly. It'll take a while. We're we'll too far slowly. away right now, boys. We're in too far away. It's taking what seems like forever, but we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm really excited because I've never made this amount of money before. So I'm so freaking hyped. But we're coming into the port anyway. It's still kind of... There's that big, big, big cargo shipper there. It's still kind of daytime. I'm surprised that the sun hasn't settled right now. Because it just feels like forever it's taken. But we're coming in. Hot and heavy right now. And I just got to navigate this ship here. And go to that little sticky out bit just there. So I'm coming in right now. I'm going to start the turn. Do I uh, slowly start to stop the ship? I'm not 100% sure if I should. But I'm going to bring down the throttle anyway, because I might need to navigate around this dude right now. If he starts moving. Oh, I forgot the horn. Eee, well, ah, that's a big ship right there. Damn. I thought mine was big. That one's even bigger. Right, coming in hot and heavy. And we'll try and pull up somewhat side of it. I think there's a dude standing there. Oh, is he waving at me? There's a dude legit waving at me right now as I pull up. <laughs> that's so cool. I think that dude's been waiting for me this whole time. Hey, dude. Right, am I going to hit this? I think I should be okay. So the current price is at $97. I could always like hang about here for a little while until they kind of creep back up an extra dollar or two. Because an extra dollar or two, right, every dollar it goes up is an extra $8,000, right? If I'm, if that's correct. Yeah. Which $8,000 is $8,000, right, boys? Right, let's slow this down then. Who's that dude waiting for me right now waving? Hey, how you doing? He's waving at me, boys. He's waving at me. That's so cool. That's so cool. Right, anyway, we're going to dock up right now. Bam. Manage the cargo. And then if we sell all, we're going to get 774000 So, the only way I could get a straight 400000 is I bought it, was it for like four, no, 50. I bought it for 51-ish, 52-ish dollars a barrel. So, I would kind of need to sell it for $204 to kind of literally double my money. So that's the closest we're going to get to it right now. But you can see top left right there. The current oil price is $97 uh, a barrel. Can I wait for it to go up a bit more? It went up a bit more there. Getting now 780000 I'm just going to sell it all because I can't be like too choosy. It is what it is. This is the most money I've ever made from cargo in this game or shipping anyway. So that was beautiful. I now have gone back. To making one million in the bank and my ship just got higher holy smokes that was glorious right there that was freaking glorious so let's think about the next logical step then let me zoom right out so i don't want to do the same kind of route is there any routes i could do which are shorter that could potentially make the most money that's what i gotta think logistically so even though that from long island to norfolk is a long distance and you do make a lot of money because of the oil prices can I do, I mean, I might make like less money going from Newport to Stanley, but I could do that journey a whole lot quicker. So I make money in the long run. So let's take a look at the oil prices. So low prices, Long Island, which is over here. Um, 
So Stanley is 57. Davenport is 53. Hmm. So the big, big, big money makers are Rockfall Port and New uh, Norfolk Port. I can't even say it. So I could go to Stanley Harbour, get $57. Go to um, Rockfall Port. Do you know what? That might not be a bad shout. I might attempt to do another canal system. We might attempt to do it. Because you can make some pretty decent money, but it's no way... This server's nowhere near the $30 that I was getting on the last server, was it? No. But then it, the prices are definitely high on this one. So let's go... I'm going to try Stanley Harbour. So let's return to the menu. Let's get rid of this for a minute. Yeah, return to the menu. Uh, play again. And we're going to go to Stanley Harbour right now. You can get oil in Stanley Harbour, right? Yeah, they're just there. I can see them. I can see them just there. Which my ship has just spawned in, as you can tell. We're going to thrust to the right. And is that all I need to do? Right, we're moving over. Keep it going, boy. Keep it going. Easy. Easy right now. Can I dock? It was just that easy. <laughs> So, 56 barrels, uh, 56 barrels, 56 dollars a barrel, I'll buy the 8, no, 8,000 I need, sorry, 80,000, is, yeah, 56 dollars uh, a barrel, buy 8,000, easy, mate, easy, so, if I can navigate, then, the, oh, ship services, do I need fuel, I gotta buy fuel, there we go, just bought some fuel right now, how much that cost me? Uh, I think this cost me a lot. Mm. Uh, so, Stanley Harbour, we've just done it. Where's oil prices? 56. Anything above 56 is a bonus. Either Norfolk or Rockfall Port is where I need to go. Now, it's quite difficult because I kind of need to go up for the canal system, which requires me trying to get past all of these guys right now. So, do I wait for them to move or do I try and turn and go round them we'll try and turn and go round them first if i start turning in front of them they'll understand what i'm trying to do hopefully hopefully anyway i don't know if that's going to be a thing that dude's starting to move right now so maybe it was a bad move to try and start moving right now but we're trying boys everyone's spawning here right now right right slow it right down and go on a full spin we got this and then we're going through the canal system. Easy, boy. Right, get some throttle going as well. So I can start moving forward. That dude's going to crash into me. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be too... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think he's just trying to maneuver himself. Let's toot my horn. So the second episode in the row, we are now about to go through the canal system. Which is going to be glorious. So good. Which I think everybody else is going to... I think everyone's going to try and follow me right now. Little squad on the way through the canal system right now. Yes, please. Now, if I went for the canal system and if I if I just went all the way up to New, uh, Norfolk Port, I could get $97. It depends on how much I really, really want to get that, uh, that money. But I could get some serious money. Serious, serious. I reckon after all this, I should have at least 1.3 million, right? And that is what I should have. I gotta slow this right down right now. Alright, wait for this ship to come to a full stop. Uh, request the canal system to get up and running. Damn, Zediac, you're gonna be rich. I'm gonna be really rich. Like, really, really rich. Oh, that dude just come in. He's just, I think he just crashed his own boat, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll start the throttle going forward. I mean, is that boat too wide to go for the canal system? Or do you reckon it just about fits? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but that would be interesting to find out. I wonder if anyone's going to follow me in. I don't think anyone's going to. But, um, right, there we go. Bring it down to a full stop right now. Oh, no, I think his ship actually does fit. Oh, that's a tight... No, he got... I'm about to say that's a tight squeeze. He's actually got stuck. He actually low-key got stuck, which I'm not sure what's going to happen right now because when the canal system closes its doors, 
Is he going to glitch out? Um, start the process. Oh, look at that, look at that. They're closing in on him. Oh, they hit his boat. His boat's moving. Is he going to sink? That's not good, is it? That's quite deadly. That is quite deadly. But we're slowly moving ourselves anyway. So them doors should open right now. We go full steam ahead. And we see we say hasta la vista to that ship. That just generally oofed on the canal doors. Go dang, to uh, the rock full place. But I thought, you know what? <sighs> Travel a little bit further and get a few extra pennies. <laughs> I had no fuck port right now. Which I did. I took a little bit of damage in the canal system. I f kind of found out it's a lot more difficult to try and uh, navigate with a larger ship. That didn't go down too well. That did not go down too well. So, we've kept it simple, kept it easy. Why? Oh, man. I really need you guys to let me know what kind of ship or what we should be focusing on getting in the near future. But thrust us to the left. There we go. As we now get a little bit closer. Tooting along with the last little bit of momentum that we have right now. Is it enough to dock at this speed and this distance? Are we ready? Are we ready? Well, stop then, ship. It is. So, I've sold it all. Bam! Just like that. Don't even care about the price right now. It was stressful enough getting over here. But I walk away, right, with 1.3 million now in the bank. Would you look at that? <laughs> um, wow. 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 Another 1.2 million, which is really easy to get now with this ship. I have the same amount of money I started with, with an $800,000 ship that I could sell. If I sold this ship right now, I'm pretty much 400000 away from what I originally had. So I ain't going to do that. Still need to go do a lot more stuff. But I can now get our next ships a whole lot easier and a whole lot quicker. So all I need you to do right now, guys, is use to let me know what I should be buying next. Now... Do I go? Let's go back to the main menu and have a quick look. Let's just go back to the main menu. I like how when you unload the ship, it kind of goes back up because there's nothing inside of it right now. Right. Do I go back to the container ships, guys? Let me know in the comment section. I could go back to this. If I could get up to 5 million, get the Panamax container ship or, you know, what's after that 5 million one? And then it goes up to 91 million. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Bolt carriers, I've got up to 6 million the cape size right now. Oil containers, I could continue with oil containers, just keep it as it is. Maybe go to the 10 million to get the ultra large crude, uh, crude carrier. Uh, I could save it for 18 million, grind it out, try and get the conventional LNG carrier. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But until next time, guys, I will see you all soon. So, good. Bye.